Hello everyone, welcome back to True Crime Stories. Today, we will bring you a story that is not scary, but extremely sad. Let's listen and feel it. At the heart of this tragic tale are two sisters, Jessica and Cassandra Lawrence, whose lives have been intertwined in a complex web of love, rivalry and resentment since childhood. Cassandra, the older of the two, has always been the golden child, beautiful, successful and married to the charming and successful architect Dominic Blunt. Their union was the envy of Millhaven, a seemingly perfect marriage that everyone aspired to emulate. Jessica and Cassandra were born into a well-off family. Their father was a local fisherman and their mother was a teacher. From an early age, it was clear that the two sisters were as different as night and day. Cassandra, with her gentle demeanor, is the pride of her parents. She excelled in school, was loved by her teachers and seemed to navigate the social currents of Millhaven with effortless grace. Her life's path seems predetermined. She will go to college, find a respectable job, and settle down with a good man to start a family of her own. However, Jessica is a force of nature. Ever since she could walk, she possessed a wild soul that made those around her both curious and worried. Although she is as intelligent as her sister, Jessica's academic achievements are overshadowed by her rebellious nature and penchant for pushing boundaries. As they grew older, the differences between the two sisters became more apparent. Cassandra pursued a degree in education, following in her mother's footsteps, while Jessica bounced between various majors, never finding her footing. It was during this time that Jessica's manipulative tendencies began to become apparent. She will find a way out of trouble, using her wits and charm to turn the situation in her favor. Jessica's relationships are always intense but short-lived, as she seems to thrive in the chaos of new romances, only to become bored when the initial excitement fades. This pattern leaves a trail of broken hearts and bitter ex-lovers, further cementing her reputation as Millhaven's black sheep. Meanwhile, Cassandra has returned to her hometown after college and quickly catches the eye of Dominic Blunt, a rising star in the architectural world. Dominic has come to Millhaven to oversee the restoration of the town's historic lighthouse, but finds himself captivated by the town's gentle beauty, both landscape and Cassandra. Their courtship was swift and passionate, culminating in a fairy tale wedding that became the talk of the town for months. Dominic's career continued to flourish, and soon he and Cassandra were living in a beautiful house overlooking the ocean, their life resembling a modern fairy tale. But underneath their perfect marriage, cracks are starting to form. Cassandra, always the dutiful daughter and wife, finds herself yearning for something more. She had given up her dreams of travel and adventure to settle in Millhaven, and part of her resented the sacrifices she had made for the sake of her marriage. For his part, Dominic is fighting his own demons. The pressures of a famous career and the expectations of small-town life weigh heavily on him. Dominic felt suffocated by the perfection they were expected to maintain. Having spent years drifting from city to city, Jessica has returned to Millhaven, claiming to want to reconnect with her roots. In reality, she is running away from another failed relationship and mounting debt, finding refuge in the only place she knows will take her. Cassandra welcomed Jessica with open arms, giving her a place to stay until she got back on her feet. But as Jessica settles into the Blunt household, 
the dynamic between the three begins to shift in subtle yet profound ways. The stage is set for a play that will shake Millhaven to its core, forever changing the lives of all involved. At first, Jessica's presence seems to breathe new life into Cassandra and Dominic's relationship. Evenings are filled with laughter and reminiscences as the sisters reflect on lost times, with Dominic playing the role of thoughtful husband and brother-in-law. But as the days turn to weeks, Jessica's true intentions begin to emerge. Her eyes stayed glued to Dominic for so long, her normal touches became more frequent and deliberate. She would find excuses to be alone with him, ask for help with her car, seek advice on job applications, or simply catch him in the kitchen late at night when Cassandra had gone to bed. Dominic, initially unaware of Jessica's advances, finds himself increasingly attracted to her bubbly personality. While Cassandra is steady and predictable, Jessica is spontaneous and interesting. She listened attentively to his architectural designs, asking insightful questions that made him feel truly understood. In those moments, Dominic felt a flash of light that he had not experienced in many years. Dominic is a man of principle, devoted to his wife and the life they have built together. He tried to stay away from Jessica, making excuses to spend more time at the office or take on additional projects that took him away from home. However, Jessica is not so easily stopped. She recognized the inner struggle in Dominic's eyes and saw it as a challenge rather than a deterrent. She begins to weave a careful web of seduction, taking advantage of his insecurities and unfulfilled desires. One evening, while Cassandra attended a school board meeting, Jessica arranged a seemingly harmless dinner with Dominic. She prepares his favorite meal, opens a bottle of expensive wine, and creates an irresistibly intimate atmosphere. As they talked late into the night, Jessica carefully steered the conversation toward Dominic's passions and dreams, areas she knew Cassandra had never fully connected with him about. Dominic felt a rush of emotions, flattery, lust, and overwhelming guilt. He stammered in response, trying to steer the conversation back to a safer place, but Jessica sensed his advantage. She moved closer, her hand touching his. The tension in the room was evident. Dominic knows he should leave, should end this dangerous game before it goes too far. But something made him stand still, caught up in Jessica's charm. When Jessica's lips met his in a passionate kiss, Dominic's resistance collapsed. At that moment, the foundation of his marriage begins to crack, setting off a chain of events that leads to unimaginable tragedy. The weeks that followed that fateful night were a blur of stolen moments and a growing sense of guilt for Dominic. But that feeling of guilt did not last long. Dominic and Jessica soon could no longer control their desires, and both found increasingly creative ways to be together without making Cassandra suspicious. Their rendezvous ranges from hasty meetings in Dominic's office to carefully planned business trips that take them away from Millhaven's watchful eye. Jessica enjoys the thrill of their forbidden romance, each secret encounter fueling her sense of victory over her sister. For Dominic, the affair is an intoxicating mixture of excitement and self-loathing, each encounter leaving him both exhilarated and guilty. Jessica is a master manipulator, knowing how to keep Dominic in her clutches. She is both a charismatic lover and a sensitive confidant. She listens to Dominic's frustrations about work and unfulfilled ambitions, giving him a sense of understanding and validation. Jessica paints a bright future filled with excitement and passion, away from the pressures of small town life. Dominic gradually feels torn between his growing feelings for Jessica and his loyalty to Cassandra. At home, 
Dominic's guilt drives him to become distant and overcompensating. There are days when he can't look Cassandra in the eye, but there are also days when he shows his love for her out of remorse. He throws himself into work, taking on more projects than ever, seeing it as an escape from reality and an excuse for his frequent absences. For her part, Jessica perfectly portrayed the role of an older sister who pampers her younger sister. She would engage Cassandra in long conversations, pretending to be interested in her daily life while secretly reveling in her deception. There are moments when a flicker of guilt crosses Jessica's face, a brief recognition of the pain she has caused her sister. But these moments are quickly snuffed out, overshadowed, blinded by her desire for Dominic and her deep desire to finally get over Cassandra. As the affair progresses, the risks they face become greater and greater. They began meeting in more public places, their need for each other overcoming their caution. A colleague of Cassandra's saw them having dinner together in a neighboring town. But as the weeks turned to months, their deception began to become apparent. Dominic, once invigorated by the affair, now frequently finds himself on the brink. The guilt is eating away at him, affecting his work as well as his relationships with friends and family. He begins to question whether the passion he has for Jessica is worth destroying the life he has built with Cassandra. Jessica, sensing Dominic's internal struggle, redoubled her efforts to keep him engaged. She became more demanding with his time, more resolute in declaring her love. Her manipulation becomes more overt, exploiting his guilt and desire in equal measure. As their affair reaches its climax, neither Jessica nor Dominic realize that their carefully built house is about to collapse. The truth, as usual, is quietly emerging, ready to destroy the lives of everyone involved. While Jessica and Dominic indulge in their passionate love, Cassandra is slowly piecing together a puzzle she never wanted to solve. At first, the changes were subtle. The unfamiliar scent of perfume splattered on Dominic's clothes. Silent phone conversations would end abruptly when she entered the room, and the seeming emotional distance growing bigger day by day. Cassandra, ever the optimist, initially attributed these changes to work stress or a midlife crisis. She tries to bridge the growing gap between them, planning romantic dinners and weekend getaways, only to receive half-hearted enthusiasm from Dominic. Ironically, her younger sister Jessica becomes her confidant during this time, offering a sympathetic ear and words of reassurance that only deepen the knife of betrayal. But as the weeks turned to months, Cassandra could no longer ignore the nagging voice in her mind. She began to pay more attention to the inconsistencies in Dominic's stories about late nights at the office and out-of-town meetings. She noticed the way Jessica's eyes followed Dominic across the room, her barely concealed smiles and delicate touches that spoke of a deeper connection. One afternoon, while doing laundry, Cassandra found a bill from a hotel in a neighboring city stuffed in Dominic's jacket pocket a hotel that she knew was not near where he often visited, Job. This discovery sent chills down her spine, the physical evidence making it impossible for her to deny her worst fears any longer. Torn between facing her suspicions and her fear of what she might discover, Cassandra finds herself in a constant state of anxiety. Her sleep is disturbed by nightmares, and she finds herself watching Dominic and Jessica like a hawk, looking for any sign that might confirm or deny her fears. In desperation, Cassandra even considered hiring a private investigator, but the thought of strangers prying into her private life was too much to bear. Instead, she decides to confront Dominic and Jessica separately, hoping that one of them will succumb to the pressure and reveal the truth. Little did Cassandra know that her decision to seek the truth would set off a chain of events that would lead to a confrontation more devastating 
than she could have imagined, changing their lives forever. Judgment Day came on a stormy afternoon in late autumn. Cassandra had spent the morning steeling herself for this moment, practicing what she would say, how to stay calm and collected in the face of potential pain. As Dominic walked through the door, shaking the rain off his coat, he saw his wife standing in the room, her face filled with so much emotion. The tension in the air was palpable, and Dominic knew immediately that their carefully constructed facade was about to crumble. Cassandra began, her voice shaking slightly despite her best efforts. I know your relationship with Jessica. Dominic's face turned pale, his mouth opening and closing as he tried to find words. In that moment of stunned silence, Cassandra saw the truth written clearly on his face and her last glimmer of hope vanished. Cassandra smiled bitterly. Cassandra hurled accusations and questions at Dominic, her voice echoing throughout the house. For his part, Dominic could only stand there and swallow her anger, offering weak apologies but unable to stop her anger. As their argument reached its climax, the front door opened and Jessica walked in, stopping short at the scene before her. For a moment, the three of them stood dumbfounded in the scene of betrayal and guilt. Jessica's eyes flickered back and forth between Cassandra and Dominic, her mind racing to find a way out of this situation. Dominic, torn between the two sisters, tried to intervene. He tried to explain, but his words made Cassandra even angrier. In anger, Cassandra grabbed a vase from the coffee table and threw it across the room, nearly hitting Dominic in the head. It shattered as it hit the wall, the sound of the impact interrupting her words. The noise seemed to shake Jessica out of her defiant pose. For the first time, a trace of regret appeared on her face. Dominic and Jessica exchanged a look of helpless guilt before slowly walking out the door. As it closed behind them, Cassandra collapsed onto the sofa, her body sobbing. The life she knew, the future she had planned, all of it crumbled to dust in a matter of minutes. As the storm rages outside, Cassandra's mind is a whirlwind of emotions, anger, shame, betrayal, and an overwhelming sense of loss. In that moment, she made a decision that would lead to the tragic final act of this sordid drama. Cassandra staggered into the dimly lit bar, her eyes wild and her movements erratic. The bartender, a grey-haired man named Hank, watched more and more as she drank one drink after another. After after getting drunk on Cassandra staggering into the parking lot, Cassandra managed to start her car, the engine roaring into the quiet night. She drove out of the parking lot, her vision blurred and her reactions dangerously slow. The winding coastal road stretched before her, a strip of asphalt barely visible in the moonlight. As she drove, Cassandra's mind was a jumble of emotions. Anger at Dominic and Jessica's betrayal, shame for not seeing the signs sooner, fear of the uncertain future that lay ahead, before. The speedometer inched higher as she pressed the accelerator, grief and rage fueling her reckless actions. The disaster happened on a particularly dangerous curve. Cassandra's slow reflexes failed her and she turned too quickly. She felt the car begin to skid, the tires screeching on the asphalt. In a terrifying moment of clarity, she realized her mistake, but it was too late. The guardrail gave way with a metallic crunch and suddenly Cassandra was airborne. Time seemed to slow down as the car plummeted over the edge of the cliff, tumbling repeatedly toward the jagged rocks below. Cassandra's last conscious thought was a desperate plea for forgiveness, a silent apology to the loved ones she was about to leave behind. Then, darkness enveloped her 
as the car plunged into the rushing water, the first rays of dawn just peeking over the horizon. Officer Liam Murphy, a seasoned member of Millhaven's small police force, took the call with a sense of dread. A jogger discovered a wrecked car at the foot of the Whispering Cliffs, a notorious stretch of coastline. When Murphy arrived on the scene, the scene that greeted him was devastating. The silver car was almost unrecognizable because of the impact and being crushed by the waves. The license plate was miraculously still intact, quickly identifying the car as that of Cassandra Blunt. Murphy felt his heart sink. He knows Cassandra, as do most of the townspeople. The rescue team worked tirelessly to get the car out of the precarious position, but it was too late. Cassandra was taken from this world, the victim of a tragic accident, born from the shattered remains of a once happy life. As the sun rose over the cliffs, casting a gloomy glow over the landscape, the true weight of the tragedy began to sink in. The lives of Cassandra, Dominic and Jessica have been irrevocably changed, their carefully constructed world torn apart by brutality, consequences of their actions. The final curtain has fallen on this sordid drama, leaving only echoes of broken dreams and indelible traces of heartbreak. The news of the tragic death of Cassandra Blunt weighed heavily on Officer Liam Murphy as he made his way to the scene. The thought of having to deliver this devastating information to her family was almost too much to bear. As the morning progressed and the full extent of the tragedy became clear, whispers began to spread throughout the small town of Millhaven. Cassandra Blunt, killed in a drunk driving accident, it seemed impossible, completely unlike the woman everyone knew to be responsible and calm. Detective Sarah Watson, called in from the nearest city to direct the investigation, feels there is more to the story. Her keen eye noted details that didn't quite make sense. The absence of skid marks on the road, indicating no braking effort. The odd angle of the car's trajectory off the cliff. Cassandra's drinking alone something her friends swore she had never done, raised everyone's suspicions. When Watson arrived at Blunt's house to break the news, she was stunned by the obvious tension in the atmosphere. Dominic Blunt's reaction to his wife's death seemed strangely muted, tinged with guilt. And the presence of Jessica Lawrence, Cassandra's sister, in the house at such an early hour only increased the detective's suspicions. In the days that follow, Watson immerses himself in the investigation, peeling back layers of Millhaven's seemingly idyllic surface to reveal the chaos underneath. Her first step is to retrace Cassandra's last hours, a quest that leads her to the rusty anchor and its reluctant bartender, Hank. Hank's account of Cassandra's state on the night of her death paints a picture of a woman in deep emotional distress. She knocked them out like there was no tomorrow, he told Watson, guilt etched on his weathered face. I tried to stop her from driving. This testimony sharply contradicted everything Watson had heard about Cassandra from her friends and colleagues, a woman they described as prudent responsible, not someone who drank to excess, then sit behind the wheel. Watson's next focus is on Dominic Blunt and Jessica Lawrence. Their behavior since Cassandra's death has been odd, to say the least. Instead of grieving separately, they seem to be leaning on each other for support. Their interactions marked by meaningful glances and quiet conversations that would abruptly end when someone else was around. Come close. The breakthrough came when Watson interviewed Cassandra's best friend, Olivia Chen. Olivia revealed that Cassandra confided in me just a few days ago. She suspected Dominic was having an affair with Jessica. This revelation puts the entire case in a new light. Watson immediately sought to corroborate the information, 
digging deeper into Dominic and Jessica's recent activities. Bank records showed suspicious transactions, hotel bookings and expensive gifts, consistent with times when Dominic claimed to be traveling on business. When he had evidence, Watson brought Dominic and Jessica in for separate interviews. Under the detective's relentless questioning, their carefully constructed alibi begins to crumble. Jessica was the first to break. Yes, we had an affair, she confessed, tears streaming down her face. Cassandra found out that night. The three of us had a huge fight, but I swear we didn't know she left the house after we left. Dominic, faced with Jessica's confession, finally admits to the affair, but vehemently denies any involvement in Cassandra's death. We made a terrible mistake, he said, his voice hollow with regret, but I love Cassandra. I would never want this. Watson believes they were telling the truth about not directly causing Cassandra's death, but that their actions caused tragic events. The detective's report painted a clear picture. Cassandra, distraught after discovering her husband was having an affair with her own sister, sought solace in alcohol. Her decision to drive in that condition, while ultimately her own, was a direct result of the emotional trauma caused by Dominic and Jessica's betrayal. Ultimately, no criminal charges were filed in connection with Cassandra's death, but in the court of public opinion, Dominic and Jessica were condemned. The truth about their affair spread across Millhaven like wildfire, tarnishing their reputations forever and ensuring that Cassandra's death would haunt them for the rest of their lives. As time passed, the intense pain of the events began to subside, but their impact on Millhaven remained. The town will eventually regain a semblance of peace but its residents carry with them the understanding that beneath the quiet surface of small town life, passions and secrets may swirl with deadly power. The tragedy of Cassandra Blunt forever changed the soul of Millhaven, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of all who called it home.